Hi guys and welcome back to another show of Keto in the Kitchen with Jasmine. Today what we're making is Keto Cheese Dip with loaded sweet potato fries and mm -mm, it's going to be good and we're also going to make a Keto Cucumber and Red Onion Salad. I can't wait to show you my version of it and I'm looking forward to it. So thank you for being here and I hope you enjoy this recipe. What we're going to make first is the keto cheese dip. And for this, what we're going to do is it's going to end up actually cooking in the crock pot. But first we're going to make a room. We're going to set everything up on the stove and then transfer it over into the crock pot. So right now I'm going to start with two tablespoons of butter and one tablespoon of cornstarch in a pot and I'm going to cook that down. So you're cooking that on medium high and once it really gets cooking you're going to turn it down to medium low. Next you're going to stir in one cup of vegetable broth. Now stir in one cup of sour cream. And give it a stir. Next add one eight ounce package of cream cheese and I'm just using the Kroger brand. And here it is. Let that melt down over medium low heat. And what you're going to do now is sprinkle one half teaspoon of exanthem gum. And the reason you're sprinkling it instead of adding it all in one teaspoon is because I discovered that if you sprinkle it as opposed to adding it in one whole tea or one half teaspoon, what you're doing is you're actually clumping it. Um, but if you sprinkle it, it actually adds to the sauce better. So we're going to do it that way. And it should make the sauce a little bit thicker in about 20 to 30 seconds. And the cream cheese is still thick, which means it still needs time to cook down. So we're going to move on to other things while it's cooking. What we're going to do now is saute our vegetables. So we're going to take two garlic cloves. We're going to take half of a red onion and chop that up. We're also going to take a jalapeno, one full jalapeno, and chop that up, and then one celery stalk, and we're going to chop all of it up and saute it in butter, about two tablespoons of butter, and we're going to saute it in a pan to get it ready for a crock pot, and also diced tomatoes. And the diced tomatoes, I just want to add, will be added after you saute all of the other vegetables first, like the harder, crunchier vegetables that I just mentioned. And that's going to be sauteed in butter over medium high heat. So my cheese sauce in the crock pot is finished. What I actually didn't add was the shredded cheese yet because I'm going to pour the cheese sauce into my crock pot on low and I'm going to add about half a bag of a Kroger bag of shredded cheese and I'm going to show you the size I mean in just a minute. So 
So here's the size I mean. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this open. And I'm going to pour in half of this. And this is actually 32 ounces. So it's a two pound bag. And I'm going to pour in half of this. So I'm going to pour in one pound or half of this bag. And I'll show you that. So that's about half and I basically just guessed. So my vegetables have finished cooking and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add them to the crock pot with the cheese sauce. I took a picture of that so that you could see it in the crock pot. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add about a cup more of vegetable broth and I might add a little bit more as I'm going because I kind of cook by the dump and pour method, if you haven't noticed already. So um, that's what I'm gonna do. Now we're going to start with the spices. So I'm going to add one teaspoon of chili powder. And if the sauce starts getting thick, what you can do is you can always thin it out by adding either water, but I like to add vegetable broth because it gives it a really, really, really yummy flavor. So you can add vegetable broth to it to thin it out more and to make it to your consistency to whatever your liking is. The next thing we're adding is two tablespoons of my favorite nutritional yeast because it's so good for your health. And it tastes yummy too. It's like a, tastes kind of tastes like a Parmesan cheese in a way. And then you're going to add one half teaspoon each of ground cumin, garlic and onion powder, and smoked paprika. An additional spice I decided to add was one teaspoonful of ground mustard. Next, I'm going to add one quarter teaspoon of cayenne, one teaspoon of Tabasco, one half teaspoon of Brax liquid amino acids, Give it a stir, and I think at this point I'm going to add just a little bit of water in a mason jar so that I can thin it out a little bit. Remember, if a dish is too salty, you can always add water, and that will thin out the saltiness of it. Now I'm going to make the Dijon mustard, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take sugar-free maple syrup, and I'm going to take yellow mustard and I'm going to combine them together to make one full teaspoon. It's half a teaspoon of sugar-free maple syrup and then half a teaspoonful of yellow mustard. And then what you're going to do is add that to your cheese sauce. Give it a stir and then the next thing you're going to do is take some of your cilantro because I have a bunch of cilantro I just purchased. Put it in your food processor and then add that to the cheese sauce. Okay, so that's it for that recipe and what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the next recipe and the next recipe what we're going to be making is loaded sweet potato fries. Yum, yum. Oh, one thing I do want to show you guys is what I've done is um, Dennis brought me over some sweet peppers yesterday. I have them soaking in a vinegar, salt, and cold water bath right now, but I'm actually going to go ahead and take those out. I'm going to chop them up, and I'm going to use them as scoops for the cheese sauce, and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, now we are finally moving on to the loaded keto sweet potato fries. What we're going to start with first is we're going to wash two sweet potatoes in cold water and then we're going to chop off the ends and we're going to chop it up into fries. 
I'll show you how to do that. So because it's hard for me to film and then also chop, I'm going to basically show you what we're going to do. You're going to chop off the ends of the sweet potato, getting rid of anything that you don't want on the sweet potato. Then you're going to cut it in half. You're going to take the first half and you're going to lay it down on the cutting board and then you're going to chop it into pieces or into slices to make french fries and that's how you're going to do it. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to get out a bowl, get out your olive oil and your spices and the recipes listed down below and you're going to mix it all together and put the fries in the bowl. And then what I did already is I went ahead and I lined on um, a baking sheet with parchment paper to get it ready for my sweet potato fries. Okay, so I finished cutting up my sweet potatoes and that's not a perfect science at all. They're starting to look more like thick sweet potatoes. So what we're going to do now is add the spices to the bowl that the um, sweet potatoes, I almost call them carrots, um, is already sitting in with the olive oil. We're gonna mix it around and then we're going to put it on the baking sheet. We're going to go ahead and bake that on 400 degrees until it's tender. And you just want to make sure that you watch it halfway through, maybe flip it over, just eye it and make sure that it looks okay. So the first ingredients you're adding is one teaspoon each of onion and garlic powder. The next spice is cumin and then chili powder. And then one teaspoon of oregano. Then it's one half teaspoon each of sea salt, pepper, and smoked paprika. And now it's two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. And then just stir that to combine. And once the oven has finished preheating at 400 degrees, go ahead and put your baking sheet in the oven with the sweet potatoes on it. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to brown the ground turkey. So for that, what I'm going to do is add two tablespoons of olive oil to a medium high burner uh, in a pot, and I'm going to add the ground turkey. And then what I'm going to do is take a turkey masher and I'm going to mash it down because this really is the easiest way to do this. And this is something that someone had taught me. So very grateful to know this. So what you're going to do is you're going to let the ground turkey cook a little bit until it browns and then you're going to add the spices to it. And basically it's the exact same spices that you added to the sweet potato that you're going to add to the ground brown turkey. Try to say that 10 times and see if you win at that because I almost didn't. Because I'm doing this a little bit different than my recipe calls for, I put all the ingredients in there. So hopefully my video is easy enough for you to follow along with and um, you at least have all the ingredients so you can kind of put this together however you want to. This is for your benefit basically. This is just to help diabetics who need the help with keto. Okay, so let's add one half teaspoon each of salt, pepper, and smoked paprika. And in this video, since I'm doing three different recipes, I'm not really showing you dumps and pours on every single recipe, but I'm telling you what it is because otherwise I feel like that would make the video really long and I'm not sure that you guys want to see that. So now add one teaspoon each of garlic and onion powder and cumin. The next thing is one teaspoon of oregano and one teaspoon of chili powder. Next add two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. Next, you're going to add about a half a cup of vegetable broth. Next, you're going to add one cup of vegetable broth and then three ounces of tomato paste. Now chop up half of a red onion and two garlic cloves and add it to the turkey. Next, chop up a handful of Spanish olives. Add that to your meat and then give your turkey pot a stir. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but what I've done is I prepped my trace and I put my bacon on it so that when the French fries come out, I can put this in the oven. I'll lower the temperature down to 350 degrees and I'll bake these for approximately 20 minutes. So my ground turkey is done and I'll show you what that looks like. 
So I'm chopping up the green onion and I pull my sweet potatoes and I flip them over. And I just want to show you what my sweet potatoes look like. Now I'm going to put those back in the oven and I'm going to allow them to bake more until they're done. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to peel this cucumber, it's an English cucumber, and I'm going to add it to this pot right here. And I'm also going to chop up half of a red onion, and then I'm going to make the salad dressing for it because we're making cucumber and onion keto style salad, and it's really, really good. So I'll show you how to make that in just a second. So we're peeling and then we're slicing. You know how when you're trying to prepare something like for dinner or for a party and you run out and you're like, okay, so I need you to go to the store while I finish prepping and cutting and cooking everything. Well, that's kind of what happened here, but I'm not going to ask anyone to go to the store. I'm just going to use what I have. Now to make the dressing for the cucumber and the onion salad, what we're going to do is we're going to add two tablespoons of stevia in the raw to one quarter cup of water. And this is the brand I'm using. I'm not sure if there's another brand because I'm still new to this. Here's a shot of the stevia in the water. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a mason jar and I'm going to add one third cup of apple cider vinegar with the mother in it. So what I did is I just turned the burner on medium high. I'm going to stir it with a spoon. And as soon as it's dissolved, I'm going to take it off the heat. And then I'm going to start making my other dressing ingredients. But I'm not going to add the stevia and the water until it's cooled down. Here's my apple cider vinegar with the mother in it. And I just want to say, I'll tell you what, when you start cooking, if you didn't know math before, when you start learning about measurements, you learn about it in cooking. That is no joke. Now I'm going to add about a quarter cup of water to the mason jar. And then I poured in my stevia and water mixture, so I guess it would be sugar water, into the dressing. And then finally what we're going to add is one half teaspoon each of celery seeds, salt, pepper, and dill. And then you're going to just shake it up to combine, and then you're going to pour it over the cucumber and the onion. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a taste of the biggest sweet potato just to make sure it's done. You always, always want to check the largest one because that's how you know that they're cooked. So let's give it a shot. It's hot. Mm -hmm. And it's numb. And it's good. Now we can put it in our baking dish. I'll tell you what, that parchment paper makes for some really easy cleanup. Not much scrubbing on your baking pan, baking dishes, baking tray. That's what it is. Okay, so I want to show you what that looks like. There's a shot of my sweet potatoes that are baked. And now what I'm going to add to it is the ground turkey. And what you want to do is you just want to spread it out evenly so that every sweet potato gets a turn and that nothing is unfair to the sweet potato so that they're all covered. What we're going to do next is we're going to taste the dressing to see if it needs anything or if it's okay. I'm not used to that much sweetener. Very vinegary. And I think I'm going to add my, um, so I'm going to add my red onion and also my cucumber to a smaller bowl and then pour, pour this on it. So I put it in a smaller glass bowl and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a plate on the top of that and then I'm going to put it in the fridge. What I'm going to do now is turn my oven down to 350 degrees and then I'm going to put my bacon in the oven and I'm going to cook it for or bake it for 20 minutes. And now that that's done, I'm going to add shredded cheese to the top of my sweet potatoes. Then I'm going to cover it with tin foil and I'm going to put it in the oven. Okay, so all the recipes are now finished and um, once everything's out of the oven and I'm ready to plate it, I will show it to you on the plate. So 
so there's a shot of my dinner and let's see if we can give it a taste. I want to show you guys. Mmm. 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 Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. Digging in. Yeah. Cucumber salad is super good. And the mm. 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 The loaded fries are really good. And now the cheese sauce with sweet pepper. Mm. All right. Mm. Guys, thank you for being my guest. And this has been another wonderful recipe with Keto in the Kitchen with Jasmine. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. I know I am. Have a good one. Bye.